It's Sunday morning on CBS, and here again is Charles Osgood. Music plays a big part in the success of the CBS series CSI New York. And for that, we can thank, among others, a young woman named Regina Spector. With Anthony Mason this morning, we take note. Regina Spector was just six years old when her parents first sat her down to see six. She's blossomed into one of the country's most critically acclaimed young singer-songwriters. to my world, I've got to show, show, show you. Not bad for a girl who didn't like to practice. I was lazy and my mom had to, to go practice. It's hard for me to imagine you being lazy, the way you sound now. Oh. Well, that's nice. Thank you. <laughs> this is how it works. You're young until you're not. You love until you don't. You try until you can. You laugh until you cry. One reviewer called her music moving to a degree that's practically paralyzing. You are my sweetest downfall. Rolling Stone magazine just ranked Begin to Hope one of the top albums of the past year. Please welcome Regina Spector. And when she played the late night talk shows, Conan O'Brien said, It's one of my favorite performances in a long time by anybody. Do you ever find it amazing that you're singing in English? I don't know. To me, I, I really truly express myself in English. But she was born in Soviet Russia. This is, this is us right before we left. This is us. In the last years of the Cold War. But this is me and Marsha uh, rocking you. out in our ah. Moscow apartment. Her mother, a music teacher, and her father, who played violin, started her musical education early. She had a great teacher in Russia. Then, when Regina was nine, Perestroika opened a door to the West, and her family decided to go through it. How strange did it feel? It was an adventure. You know, they make movies about this stuff. The Spectres landed in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. So you had you had no family here, you had no connections here? No, we didn't know we didn't know anybody here. Worse, Regina had to leave behind the family piano. She felt lost without it. The food that I'm eating is suddenly tasteless. I had a really, really hard time. You know, I was practicing on windowsills and tables. I was just was missing the whole um, connection to it. Finally, she discovered a piano down the street in the basement of a Bronx synagogue. You'd come down here to practice? Yeah, I used to come here to practice all the time. It's still there and still out of tune. It's the same old piano. <laughs> You played here when you were a kid. Yeah. And now, presenting. <laughs> and it was on the synagogue stage that Regina gave her first American recital. A student of classical music, she never aspired to write songs herself. When you're playing such brilliant music every day, then the last thing you ever want to do is try to write something of your own that's crude and not as good. Is that an issue of you don't think you're worthy somehow? Or? Yeah, you definitely yeah. don't, nor should you. <laughs> you <know? laughs> but songs just seem to flow to her, like the tune she improvised during a break from our interview as she waited on her grandparents' balcony. <laughs> With her swooping voice, she plays with words and sounds with an immigrant's unrestrained enthusiasm for her adopted language. You like to mess around. Yeah, yeah, I do. It's, it's just, why not? And it's fun. It's a statement to yourself to be free. You're eating the Gerald, you're breeding Hemingway. Regina started out singing solo in cafes to small but spellbound audiences. Word spread. The secret is now out. Now 
you hear her songs in the soundtracks of TV shows like Grey's Anatomy and CSI New York. That show's creator is one of her biggest fans. That music completely transported me and touched me in such a way that I felt like the more of the world should hear this, and I put it on the show right away. Anthony Zyker has used her music in several episodes. And I will continue not only to put her music on my show, but also have her on the show personally. I already have a storyline worked out, and she'll probably make her debut on CSI New York for season four. But Regina is still suspicious of success. My grandparents turned 18, and then World War II happened the next day. So I have that very Russian Jewish thing of tomorrow you might get a phone call about something wonderful, or you might get a phone call about something terrible. Lately, the news has all been good. On her latest tour, Spectre sold out two shows at New York's Town Hall. <laughs> That's 3,000 people want to see you. In my hometown, it's so touching, you know. I try not to think about it, because it's just, it's too good. Long way from the first piano lessons in Moscow. Yeah. You know what, you're not going to make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a tough girl from the Bronx. <laughs> She calls herself a Bronx, by way of Moscow, classical music punk girl, which makes Regina's...